All right, hey, it's William here. I am now working on two more frogs. Um, the one that I posted up to uh, eBay sold uh, in just, a, I think, a couple hours, somebody had thrown a bid on it, uh, which... Mind blown. Uh, didn't expect it. I think it's going for 25 bucks right now. Um, Plus shipping and handling, which I think is not much. It's like four bucks or something like that, five bucks. Um, so I was like, well, hey, if that's already sold, regardless if it actually sells for 25 or somebody, they start, you know, sniping for it, I that's up to them. Um, I just went off of what I found on eBay, and there was another, what they classified as medieval frog, but it was just a piece of leather with a ring, and it was really simple. And I said, okay, well, they're asking 26 bucks for that, so I'm gonna put mine up for 25. Uh, even though it's multiple layers and tooling, it, it doesn't really matter because it's basically a prototype anyway. So, um, not a collector, um, I'm, I'm a maker. Um, so now I've got a new one. This one's gonna be pretty much all very dark and, and black. We've got some conchos for it. I'm gonna show all those parts. Um, and here we go. We'll probably edit out half of this anyways. And just blah, 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 blah. As my... Thanks again for tuning in and watching this. I do appreciate it. Um, like and subscribe. And if you want to know anything or you have any comments, leave them below. Uh, really, put them, put them in there. Um, I respond. I have so few. Even on older videos, I have so few people who leave comments, I can literally answer any question. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be the right answer, but I can answer them because it's not that busy. So, um, here we go. Okay, uh, here's the partial prep. I actually started working on this um, before I started thinking about doing a video for it, I was just gonna make it. Um, now I'm like, oh crap, I gotta, I wanna, I wanna, you know, film this. So there's the prep. All I did was a little bit of white glue, hold it down before I stitch it. Um, this was a piece that you can see the, the holes in the back here. This was actually uh, for a lightsaber holder. Uh, I redesigned it because the angles were wrong. And then now I was digging through all my stuff and I'm like, hey, I think I can, uh, I can make something out of this um, if I can cover it and, and reinforce it. So uh, this is a finished leather. This is Vegetan that I've already tooled um, and dyed and prepped up. Um, got a nice little piece of leather left over from uh, the cut up. We've got a backer. So this is gonna get glued and then stitched on and then cut out. So it'll have a nice clean back so that none of the hardware will showing. Uh, we'll put some uh, nice little straps on the top and we're gonna put, um, I think I decided to go with the, I don't know, well you can see that. Uh, the This is a little concho from Tandy Leather. Um, I'm gonna put that right over the top right there and then that's gonna go through to the inside and then the strap here this strap is gonna go down below the upper is gonna go and it's gonna it's gonna be a fairly short and then it's gonna intersect up here and then the concho is gonna go through but this is all gonna be under the layer and you're gonna see the upper uh, and then the ring is a bigger ring so the other, uh, the other day I was mistaken, um, if you had watched that video, this ring is an inch and a half. The ring, no, the, this is a two inch ring, sorry. Two inch ring, yep, two inch side diameter. Uh, the
got the uh, the leather. We got it stitched up with a nice red all the way around the perimeter. Clean on the back side. I just have to tidy up the the threads here. stitch groove looking pretty good we've got our backer leather which is the same as the insert leather right here so when this gets applied we'll use the same um, methodology for gluing it down I think for just simplicity we'll just leave it off yeah we'll just leave it off okay tacky so um, paper looks okay so now we're just going to align it as best we can uh, so you can see the excess backing looks good and we get the old mallet out the mallet the sewing machine. stitched up got the back side all done up the red really looks nice um, I kind of wish that I would have you know put the veg visor in but I think this has a uh, its own qualities so I will uh, cut out the perimeter um, burnish it a bit make the straps and we'll be good to go
there we go. And the red stitch, red backer, or the red stitching on the back as well. Leather, the belt straps. There it is. And this, of course, can be shortened up, you know, if need be. All right, we're all finished up with this one. Um, I think it turned out really well. Uh, I don't know how well the lighting's gonna give you the, you can see the red stitching. Uh, perhaps I should have went with a silver ring instead of a brass, but that's what I had in stock. And the concho, that was a total, you know, I didn't, just something added, something a little flair to it. Uh, the back looks really good, stitched up well. I like the red stitching, it really helps. Um, yeah, couldn't be, couldn't be more pleased. So we have the one with the alligator. Uh, that one's done. That one's up on eBay right now. It's got like two or three days left. We've got the, uh, the one with the, uh, sorry, I can't, can't think uh, it's the tree of life of course this one's going to my sister it's not for sale so this one's up on eBay right now and this one will be going up on eBay in a couple of days um, I will provide the link uh, for this one as well um, starting price is still gonna be the same as the other one 25 bucks so that's gonna go up um, I've got one more planned uh, I don't know how far I'm gonna get to it tonight but I've got uh, two days off so Gonna work at it. Gonna get this one finished up and uh, get it posted. Thanks.